Why do people buy? Better yet, why do people not buy? With the vast majority of B2B sales ending in no decision, that is the question that every single seller whose job it is to close deals needs to be asking themselves. The vast majority of the time, the customer isn't gonna buy from you, they aren't gonna buy from your competitor, they're just gonna carry on doing things the same way they do things today. They're gonna stick with the status quo. And that is why discovery is so, so vital. Because discovery will allow you to uncover, probe, and ask questions that will show why they can't keep doing things the way they do them today. If there is no negative consequence for them not changing, then there is no good reason for them to change. So we as sellers have to ask the right questions to find out what is going on today, what is the problem with it? What is causing those problems? And is that problem big enough? Does it have a big enough impact that it's gonna make the person and their entire company want to fix it? Because if we fail to do that, then guess what? Something else is gonna come up. A bigger problem that does need fixing is gonna take precedent. Their boss, their CEO, their CFO will shut the deal down. Because especially now in this economy, people don't wanna buy things for the heck of it. It's too risky to be spending money when they don't need to. By asking the right questions, that how are you doing things today? What are you doing to prevent this? Are you finding this problem? How much is that costing you? How long has that been a problem? What have you tried to do to fix it? What happens when this problem occurs? What are the impacts of this problem? Who else does this problem affect? By asking these questions, we can achieve two things. We can validate and qualify our deals because we know there is a good reason for them to make a purchase. And therefore, we can make sure we're not wasting our time with anyone who has no good reason to buy. But the second thing is we can oftentimes get our customers thinking about a problem in a new way, in such a way that they're gonna be much more likely to solve that problem because they've thought about the cost of inaction, but also they're gonna be much more trusting of us to solve that problem with our solution, our product, or our service. By doing discovery the right way, we safeguard our pipeline from people who aren't gonna buy, but ensure the people who are in there are thinking about what happens if they don't buy? Because when crunch time comes and it comes time to make a decision, the question the customer's gonna be thinking to themselves is, what will happen if I don't buy this? And if the answer is not a whole lot, nothing much, it's gonna be slightly annoying, but I'll live, they won't buy. If you wanna get better discovery, I highly recommend reading my favorite sales book, Gap Selling by Keenan. It is a masterclass on thinking about how you can get people moving away from the status quo, asking the right types of questions to get them to realize the impact be sure to subscribe, always a pleasure, never a chore, peace.